y'all. How are y'all doing? I got my very first, if I, I hope I'm saying it right, Ipsy bag. Um, I watched uh, Any Mama times three do her Ipsy bag last month, and I was like, ooh, I want to do that too. So, I've been waiting a whole month for this. Because, of course, whenever I signed up for it, it was too late for the November one. So, I'm excited. And I'm trying to hurry up and get this done before my husband gets home. So, he might come in in the background and be like, what are you doing? Okay. It is a gorgeous bag. It's a, it's a silvery blue color. It's really pretty very it's um well it's silver and blue this is it's got the kind of the um this December um first stone color blue and then my, my nails are looking ratchet y'all these um these nails the the gold is kind of chipping off and I've never had problems with that with these kind of nails before but for some reason these are anyway back to Ipsy it's gorgeous I love the little shimmer and it says, um, Ipsy. I don't know if y'all can see that. So let's see what's inside. And I'm going to swatch on my hand for y'all. Okay. The first thing I have is a Dead Sea wash off mask. And this is what, um, well, you can, you can go through. If you do an Ipsy bag, yours could be completely different from this. I said that I liked the wash off masks. I'm not one for the, the ones. I had problems putting those other masks on. Anna Claire wants chips. Yeah. Hold on just a second, y'all. Here you go. Anyway, I love that this is one that you, um, you put on like a cream. And I guess you let it dry. You okay? To use, thoroughly clean and dry your skin, open sachet, and massage a generous amount of mud treatment evenly over face, neck, and body area. Avoiding eyes and lips. So make sure you don't get on your lips. Leave on for approximately 15 minutes or until dry. Gently rinse off mud with water and remove any residue. So I'm assuming that it will get kind of dry and like crack because it says mud, like a, you know, a mud mask. Okay, so that's the first thing. And this is the um, the Global Beauty Care. So it's the same brand that um, Dollar Tree has. Okay. The next thing is a Smashbox. I don't have anything Smashbox. It is uh, Always On Gel Liner. It's in Fishnet. I'm assuming it's possibly black. And it is. It's black. That's cool. Does it? I wonder how it. I guess with it being a sample, does it turn in any way? It might not. I guess it's kind of a sample. So once you use that little B bit, that's it. Okay. And it's, it's, I'm sure it's just black. Yeah, it's just black eyeliner. So that's cool. Right. I'm going to leave them sitting out next to me so I can remember what I've showed you. Okay, and this is a sample of MAC um, Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. So, it's mascara. So, it's kind of cool how it is. So, you can just try these little uh, samples out and see if you like them before you, you spend the big bucks on the nice stuff. Okay. Cosmoholic. I hope I said that right. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, it's got a little mirror on it. Not sure what color this is. It does not tell me what color it is. It's a really pretty color. It's definitely something I would wear. Just wish I knew what color it was. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. It's really pretty. I really like that color. Here, I don't have anything on. I like that. Hmm. It kind of 
has a little bit, it has a little bit of a smell, a good smell. Almost, um, I know y'all are going to think I'm crazy. It smells like frosting to me. And I don't think Anna Claire's got anything out. But for some reason, it, it, it smells like frosting to me. I know that sounds totally weird. But I know some makeup smells like, like um, the chocolate bar. I don't know who does the chocolate bar one. But I know it smells like chocolate. Okay. And you get five items. So that was four items. And this is the last item. Oh, cool. It says Lisa Frank. And that's what it looks like on the front. Let me see if I can figure out how to open this and not mess it up. I'm assuming it's in a little box. I don't know if this is um, eyeshadow. I'm assuming if it's eyeshadow since it had eye on it. It's hard to get into. Maybe I should try opening it this part. Sometimes it's hard to get into stuff with these nails. Unfortunately, I'm having to rip the box to get into it. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. It's like totally 80s, y'all. Totally 80s. Look at that. That is just so, so cute. Lisa Frank Glamour Dolls Stargazing Shimmer Eyeshadow. And I, I don't remember if I put natural or if I like to be adventurous. I think I did put natural shades. Very, very pretty color. It's almost a bronzy type color. I don't know if that's coming across. Let's see. Like I said, I have no makeup on. So, this will be a good um, highlight is what. It reminds me of that copper color I have. So, this will be really good um, to highlight. Highlight with. I really like that. But, yeah, it's an eyeshadow. It's, that's really cool. I like that. So, oh. so, yeah, for 10 bucks, I'm kind of impressed. I really like it. You want another chip? There you go. If, I, if I'm able to figure out how to uh, link it, link it, I'll try to link uh, Ipsy below to where y'all can go through and sign up for yours. But again, it's ten dollars a month, and you get um, you get five either samples or some. I think sometimes you might get um, depending on the company or whatever, you might get like um, a little more than a sample. I don't know if it's the full size or not, but you can go through and sign up. You can customize it to what you like. So this is what I got. Uh, check out. I'm sure Andy Mama's probably gonna get hers today, or if not soon. If y'all check out what she gets, she might get something completely different because she might she might have chose different colors than what I chose. But that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And y'all go sign up to get you some Ipsy because it's really cool. I really like it. And I'll see y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.